Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to review the data analyst with Python track from Datacom. So in this video I'm going to tell you that if you want to become a data analyst and you want to learn it in Python, I'm going to tell you if this track is suitable for you or not. Let's start this video. Okay, so since we we're going to talk about data analyst with Python track, so this track should cover some courses in Python and some courses that's gonna teach me data analysis. So let's see. Now, before I begin, we have to remember that DataCamp is a platform that teaches you data science. So, whatever the courses that we have here in this track these should come to an aid to data science so basically this data analysis track it's kind of like uh, one of the processes of data science as we know that we have here something called data engineer and data engineer is the person who's gonna get the data for me from social media from uh, ERP systems whatever once he gets the data, he's going to give it to the data analyst. And data analyst is the person who's going to check the data and do some statistical analysis on them, some charts, normal distribution, some whatever. So he basically or she basically checks if the data is correct. And then it transfers it to the data scientist. Okay. So since you'll be doing it in Python at the beginning regarding the coding skills, this track should give me at least two or three courses in Python I mean since we're learning data analysis in Python the track should begin with at least two or three introductory courses in Python and then regarding to the math skills since we are analyzing the data check this Venn diagram and this is the data analysis Venn diagram or the circle this is the data scientist and here is in the intersection between this data ana analyst and data scientist here the data analyst should know how to visualize the data build dashboards and do some business analytics as for the data scientist I mean there are a lot of things but in regarding to the math calculus and linear algebra are required for data analysis in regarding to the math statistics and probability is required so in math the co uh, the track should give me some statistic courses and some probability courses in python fine i mean if probability you didn't explain the probability it's fine but this should be there now after we finish with coding and the math now let's get to the core in data analysis basically i'm going to analyze the data using python so this track should cover at least pandas which is a package in python that helps me manipulate some data and it should be more than one course since i'm gonna learn how to manipulate data how to make the data frame and how to deal with missing data and, and, and adding columns adding rows and stuff like this so this should be covered and obviously, since I'm analyzing the data, I'm going to have to visualize the data. So I'm going to have to use, let's say, matplotlib, seaborn, bouquet, all these packages which are used in Python to visualize the data. So these should be covered. Now, since I am analyzing the data, then I'm going to have to get the data. Even if it's data engineer job, I'm the, I have to learn SQL as a data analyst in order for me to get the data so these should be covered at least two or three courses regarding SQL uh, databases should be covered as in advanced skills the EDA which is exploratory data analysis should be explained in detail since I'm an analyst and most of my jobs gonna be in doing EDAs and in EDA I, I, I deal with missing data um, how to deal with missing data how to remove some data, add some columns, you know, feature engineering, all this stuff. 
uh, basically feature engineering is done by the machine learning or data scientist but here I have to deal with missing data how I uh, add the data remove the data all this stuff and some packages in Python should be explained as I said uh, numpy or numpy should be explained so it's I'm going to be doing some math calculations and matplotlib should be exp uh, explained since I'm going to be doing some data visualization and seaborn and bouquet which are also used for data manipulations we have pandas which are used in uh, sorry matplotlib bouquet and seaborn these are data visualization packages not data manipulation data manipulation we have pandas so these packages should be covered in this track now let's jump into the website and see if these things were covered in the track or not let's go all right so right now we are on the data camp website and we can go to the career tracks here and you scroll down and you till you find the data analyst with python track click on it and let's just see what type of courses do we have here now according to the a slice that uh, we discussed earlier in this video uh, since I'm learning data analyst or I mean I mean I'm learning data analysis and with Python so in this course they should give me some introductory courses in Python like introduction to Python intermediate to Python advanced to Python statistics in Python uh, how to manipulate data in Python data visualization in Python uh, and how to manipulate the data you know this type and uh, should introduce me the packages like uh, numpy pandas matplotlib seaborn bouquet you know these type of uh, packages that are used and manipulating data in Python so let's just see what which courses do we have okay introduction to data science in Python that's nice I mean it's a data analyst with Python but introduction to data science with Python included some uh, data analysis uh, topics that's nice intermediate to Python okay where is the uh, inter uh, introduction to Python it's a free course and <laughs> click you just immediately click here and you'll see it this course used to be free I think it's still free I, I took it like a long time ago you can just click here and see my uh, certificate okay this is March 2020 there was another one which I took it in 2017 this is the new version they keep updating their courses so these are the fundamentals okay it's not available here I mean I mean this track immediately start with introduction to data science in Python you need to go and take this course introduction to Python and then you go and complete this track introduction to data science in Python okay let's just click here and uh, see what do we have here uh, getting started in Python loading that so, so this this course immediately start with loading data in pandas and doing some data visualization using matplotlib and different types of plots so you need to learn the fundamentals of Python from the introduction to Python course so you take that course that I showed you and then you take this course and then you take intermediate course and after that you just come here and click on skill assessment I was just trying out to show you how it's gonna look like you click on let's just click on screen assessment after every two or three courses you finish uh, you're gonna have skill assessment and it's going to test for you if you are novice or intermediate or advanced you can just go and click on retake assessment and start assessment and you can you can just immediately uh, it will give you some uh, um, questions here and you can just click on uh, one of the, these uh, okay so I was just trying out you, you get it and so on so next question and so on so this is the skill assessment how it's gonna look like so after you finish these two courses you're gonna have a skill assessment for Python programming uh, keep trying till you feel that yes you know enough Python and, and, and these type of topics and then you go to data manipulation with pandas 
and then we have joining data with pandas and then we have another skill assessment which is going to test your knowledge in these two courses data manipulation with pandas and joining data with pandas and so on and then we have introduction to data visualization seaborn uh there is no bouquet I don't, I don't think there is a bouquet introduction to importing data in python intermediate so here we are in the uh, nitty-gritty of uh, data analysis uh, these 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 are the uh, not advanced courses but these are like the core data analysis um courses uh, here you have data visualization and with two packages uh matplotlib and seaborn and we have some uh, important courses here and then skill assessment how to clean the data obviously since you are data analyst you're gonna end up cleaning a lot of data and uh, doing the eda and then there is a case study here You'll do. You'll be doing it using pandas, and then we have introduction to SQL because you, as a data analyst, sometimes you're gonna end up uh, getting the data from databases. So you're gonna end up learn, uh, using SQL queries there, and then we have streamlined data ingestion with pandas. This is an advanced course in panda pandas, and this is uh, introduction courses for SQL, how to deal with databases, advanced course in SQL, uh, introduction to database in Python. That's a really nice course. And that's the uh, statement of accomplishment. That's it. That's this the track. There is no statistics. But is there a uh, course statistics in Python? Let's just find out. Click here and write statistics. There are statistical thinking in Python 1 and 2. And there is statistics simulation in Python. And you have practicing statistics interview questions. So yes, you do have four courses which, is, which explain statistics in uh, Python. What else uh, for math? I don't think there is an uh, available in Python. It's available in R. I mean, linear algebra is available in R, yeah. And uh, calculus, there is no calculus. Yeah, there is no calculus. So if you uh, want to become a data analyst who work with data scientists, then you should take this track. And after that, you take that data scientist with Python track, this one. And you'll see a lot of overlapping between this track and data analyst with python track obviously here is you're gonna have more courses than data analyst here you have 16 courses there you have 23 courses okay so you want to become a uh, data analyst who work with data scientists you take this course and then so you take this track you take this track data analyst analyst with Python track and then you take the data scientist with Python track. If you want to become just a general data analyst, take the data analyst track and then go with a statistician track. Where is that? Mm, this one. I know it's in R, but you're going to end up learning a lot of statistical stuff and it's going to help you a lot as a data analyst and quantitative analyst. It's this almost the same thing because you look in data analyst, you could be analyzing data, whether it was a categorical data or quantitative data. For analyzing, you're going to end up using statistics on the data. So you can take this track and you can take this track too to uh, solidify your math skills. Okay, so make sure to enroll to the premium uh, subscription of Data Camp from the link in the description below there's a big chance you're gonna get a uh, discount if you if you enroll from the link in the description below and subscribe to the year an annual uh, subscription is gonna be cheaper but also you can try the monthly uh, just to try the platform if you like it continue if you don't like it just cancel it check the their refund policy please I don't know uh, how the refund policy work and uh, thank you so much make sure to check the other videos like and subscribe this video and see you on the next video bye bye